You know, when I first realized that I wasn't going to become a doctor like how my mom wanted me to and wanted to actually follow my father's footsteps because he was a successful entrepreneur and I wanted to become like him and he was my idol growing up. You know, I started kind of just looking at all the opportunities. You know, I started looking at like, where can I invest my time and really get the most yield for my time and investment, right? So I started simply, I would, I still remember, I would have a notepad next to me and I would be driving around and looking at everything that was available out there. And I started from franchises like, you know, uh, uh, restaurants like burgers and stuff like that to 7-Eleven, Denny's, all that kind of stuff. And I would even, you know, sign up for like presentations and I would go to presentations and see, you know, how much investment do I need to invest? How much time until I recoup my money? What kind of work, what kind of experience they want? What kind of, you know, qualifications they want? And then I also started looking at our community. So uh, we are a part of a community called Chaldeans. We are Catholics of Iraq and there is a huge community in San Diego, California, where we used to live, which is obviously why we live there, right? And I would simply look at what they were doing. A lot of them were doing gas stations, liquor stores, smoke shops, you know, some of them restaurants. And I started simply looking at those, you know, what kind of a, a return, what kind of an investment do I need first? What kind of a return on investment will I be uh, getting? And also just kind of, you know, what kind of a work environment, what's the potential? And that was really my main thing is how scalable is this thing? How much could I go? And then, you know, I still remember 2012, 2013, it was the, the whole green rush in California. There was marijuana dispensaries opening up everywhere. So I started looking into those, you know, how do those, you know, what kind of a risk? Because it wasn't legal, but it wasn't illegal. You know, what kind of a risk? What kind of an investment? What kind of return on investment? Does it have a future? Will it ever get legalized so that way we can, you know, once one day become like a big franchise or something? And then, you know, I started my restaurant. And then after I lost my restaurant in 2015, when I started wanting to go online, it was the same thing, but now online. It was a little easier because obviously now there is YouTube. So just typing how to make money online. And I still remember going from affiliate marketing to, you know, to uh, um, uh, uh, Shopify, drop shipping to Amazon, to real estate, to crypto, to this, to that. And it's just trying all these different things. So I came up with this concept that I believe that it can really help you guys to picking your first business or next business in 2022 or even beyond, right? And, and what I call it is the niche discovery. And this is very important. Now I would honestly start taking some notes here. But again, if this is your first time on the channel, consider subscribing and please smash that thumbs up button because it really helps us rank in the algorithm. So this niche discovery, what it's all about is, and I've helped a lot of our people, uh, a lot of you know, my friends and family really do this and, and they were successful at it. If you are, obviously if you're, you know, watching this video, you're probably interested in Amazon, but if you still haven't made up your mind, and by the way, I made a video about how billionaires make decisions and you should go check it out. It's called, it's simply called how, how billionaires make decisions. Um, and that'll help you in the decision making process of this whole process. But really what you want to do is you want to look at say top five niches. And then a niche is, you know, like Amazon FBA is a sub niche of e-commerce. So a niche would be e-commerce. And then under e-commerce, there's drop shipping, there's Amazon FBA, there's wholesaling, there's affiliate marketing, there's all these things. Another niche would be like real estate. And under that, there would be like wholesaling real estate, you know, I don't know what other things you could do within real estate. The third niche would be like trading. And then within that would be like penny stock trading or just regular day trading, you know, S&P 500 or whatever, right? Another niche would be crypto. And then under crypto would be like, again, uh, trading crypto or I'm not sure what else, you know, like NFTs could probably be part of crypto, right? And so you find all the niches that are available for you that I, you might be interested in and then find one sub niche within three of those niches. So say there are seven niches that you look at and then you bring down each niche to like two, three sub niches. Now what you wanna do is you wanna eliminate all of them and only focus on three niches. And then within those three niches, you wanna focus on one sub niche within each, right? And then now you've got three different business potential ideas or potential businesses that you can start. Now you don't wanna go and start all of them, that's not what you wanna do. You wanna find one or two people inside of each one of those sub niches and start following them for the next two, three months. So maybe for you, it's Amazon FBA and then you're following us, right? Obviously today, BJK University only teaches Amazon FBA, but in the future, it's gonna be teaching other uh, uh, concepts as well. So right now you're following me, for instance, for, for Amazon FBA and you start following me for the next two, three months. Now, if you like what I'm talking about, if you see what you see yourself as an Amazon seller, you wanna ask yourself two questions. 
Will I stick to selling on Amazon for the next 24 months, for the next two years? You want to focus on just doing one thing for at least two years. Number two, the question is, if after two years, this thing doesn't work out, will I regret the last two years? That is probably more important than the first one because it's very possible that you go for two years and this goes nowhere, right? That doesn't mean the thing doesn't work. It just didn't click for you. You just didn't do it right. You didn't have the right information, didn't have the right tools, didn't have enough money or too much money or whatever the case may be. I started my entrepreneurial journey in 2009. I barely started becoming successful in 2018, 19. And then 2019 is when I started my second business. And although I started as a seven figure earner in 2019, my second business did not become successful in 2021. It took us two years to get traction with BJK University. Although I was a seven figure Amazon seller, teaching people how to sell on Amazon. I still took us two years to actually make the business. It wasn't the information that was bad, the business model. I just didn't know how to run a consulting business. And then I started learning how to do that and then simply scaling that, right? So it's very important for you to understand that it's going to take you a minimum of two years to make something happen. Even Amazon, when I started, it took me at least two years to actually start seeing a profit and seeing that, holy shit, this is actually going somewhere. And then two years later, then I became six figure and then a seven figure earner from Amazon, right? So it's very important for you that obviously do this niche discovery first. And I did it also, and my niche discovery was about two, three months, but I think having a six month period is very important because if I had to go do it again, I would probably look for a little bit longer, right? Just to, so that I know that I'm gonna be convinced because for the first two years of my career with Amazon, I was distracted with other things like, oh, this shiny object, oh, this thing, oh, crypto is popping up here and I invested some money in crypto and lost it all. I tried to do drop shipping and I didn't do well, right? I, did, I, ran, I tried to run Amazon, uh, Facebook ads for agencies and did not do well there, right? So you want to make sure that you once you pick this one thing, that's it, you put blinds on and then you're just gonna go on for the next two years, right? And that's why I'm saying, had I actually done my niche discovery for, for two, three more months, I would have eliminated the first year of me wanting to look at all the other shiny objects and just focused on Amazon. So again, just to recap, for six months, for the next six months, you want to take those six months and do a niche discovery. Find your top five to 10 niches, find sub niches within each niche, find three sub niches and follow one or two people in every single one of those niches for the next two, three months minimum. And you want to consume content two, three, four, five hours a day, 10 hours a day, every single waking moment. The more, you consume, the more consuming you do in this period, the better decisions you're going to make. And again, you want to go watch that video about how billionaires make their decisions because then you want to make sure that you make the right decision. And then before you pick, you want to ask yourself the two questions. Will I stick to it for two years and do nothing else? If it doesn't work after two years, will I regret it? If the answer is yes here, and then no, I will not regret it, then that's, you, that's when you know that you have selected the right niche. Outside of that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button and become a subscriber if you haven't as we drop brand new content every single week. And let us know in the comments what else you'd like to see from our channel. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.